Hey everybody. Um, today's a big day. Um, I've been looking forward to this. Um, here's we have uh, the three hobby boxes that we we're planning to open of 2020 Heritage. I've been dying to open these. It's been really hard not to open these. I've had these for like a week. And um, we've had a lot of people uh, buy into these. So that's great. We've had, um, I don't even know, maybe about 20 different people buy into these, which is great. A lot more than I thought would. So, um, yeah. So let me get these boxes open real quick. I'll come back to you when I open all of them. Hold on. Alright. Um, back. Open up all these boxes. Also got my list of everybody that bought. Um, so. Let's see. Let's get into this now. Now that I have my, my little notebook telling me in case we get a good hit, I can announce it. Alright. So. Um, sometimes. Okay. I don't know why they did this this year, but. Um, sometimes they have a buyback card, and sometimes they have, um, just like one of those old, like, jumbo cards. So let's see what the buyback card is. Well, that's actually, uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know, sometimes they're in really bad condition, sometimes they're in good condition. But, um, I don't know, they're kind of cool though. This one will go to our Dodger zone, though. So, let's get into this. Let me take all these packs out first. It's a lot of packs, wow. Um, let me see. How many cards are in here? There's 24 packs, nine trading cards per pack. All right. All right, I'm really excited for this. Let's get into this now. Like I said, though, uh, I have to thank everybody for buying into this. Um, I know this is kind of a big break um, for people that buy into multiple things, but uh, I really appreciate it. Here's a Polo's Ground, Willie Mays insert. That's a cool one. But uh, it, it really means a lot because it really helps my channel grow and helps me do this, and um, I really like doing this. It's really fun for me. I really hope you guys get a good hit too. It's really fun just um, just opening cards. That's just like one of the fun parts. It's just an action variant. I'm pretty sure. Um, that's another thing. These are a little tricky uh, when it comes to card variations and short prints. Um, because I don't even know, dude. They're really tricky. But yeah. Brandon Rogers, Hulu Tehran, and Nikki Lopez. And also there's Opeachy back, which is pretty cool, I guess. But the overall design of this, um, I like it. I don't know. It's kind of grown on me. But um, one thing I don't like about it, um, obviously, is the, um, the black borders and how hard it is to just, you know, keep them in the main condition. Um... I think everybody can agree that that's just like the worst thing about them. But I mean, you can't go wrong with Heritage though. Heritage is just a really, really cool product to open and just to collect. Um, Thanks, Clint Kershaw there. Calvin Biggio. Still looking for a hit. I mean, we're barely into this, but we still haven't gotten it. Um, um, I'm excited to see what can come, can come out of here. It's Matt Beatty, Willie Calhoun, um, Jonathan VR on the Marlins right now. I don't know what the Orioles are doing. They're kind of just trading away every single part of their talent. <laughs> um, I, I don't know why. Uh, his Ricky Stars um, card, Jorge Soler. Um, it's Josh James, Kevin Kiermeyer, Matt Chapman. Michael Soroka, Tops All-Star Ricky Cup. 
um, here's a Josh, I don't even know how to pronounce that name, but, and then Tony Gonsolin. Tony Gonsolin had a good year. Um, I don't know, he's like one of those sneaky rookies that are just like, you know, they're really good, um, but it's, you know, they're just not getting that traction. I don't know, he had a pretty good year though. I saw him pitch live, um, in that player's weekend against the Yankees. Oh, here we have a uh, Cattell Marte out of 9.99. That's going to our Diamondbacks owner. Um, Arch442. So, a big shout out to Arch442. He bought the most. <laughs> he bought the most um, spots. Um, even though he wasn't supposed to, um, he had a budget, but he went over the budget just to help me um, and help my channel. So, big shout out to him. Um, yeah, he's he's pretty cool. Um, you know what I found out? I found out that uh, Yasmani Grandel, he did PEDs um, a while ago when he was with the San Diego Padres. Which I don't even know how long that was. It was like 2000, like 2010. I didn't know that. I don't know. I wonder if anybody remembers that. If that's going to affect his um, chances of getting in the Hall of Fame. I would say he's Hall of Fame material. But... Um, See what we got here. We have let's see. Um, Glaber drives five runs. Daniel Murphy, Lamar Baez, Mike Ford, Andrew Miller, Sam Conrad, Carlos Correa, and Vince Velasquez. We still have a lot of packs left. As you see on the side of the screen here. Um, but let's see. Oh, we have something coming up. We have a, a Eugenio Suarez with his 49 home runs. Um, not numbered, but it is still a white parallel. So that's gonna go to our Reds owner, which is Cal Fan. So he bought some multiple things. Alberto Alize, Nico Horner. He bought multiple slots, so big thanks to him. Um, he actually has our Blue Jay spot. We have not seen a Blue Jay, really. We haven't seen a, a Bo Bichette. Or Anthony K, which is actually pretty surprising. Um, so, I mean, maybe it's going to be the auto. I'm really excited to see that. I really w wish it would be the auto. That'd be so cool. To have a Boba Shett autograph. Trey Turner. Oh, here's the hit. Javier Baez. Relic. Game of um, I can't tell if that's a bat or a jersey. Either way, that's a really cool... Relic. That's going to our Cubs owner. Who's our Cubs owner? Arch442. Congratulations. You got yourself a Javier Baez. Future Hall of Famer. Future Hall of Famer. Oh, here's our Boba Shett, too. <laughs> going to our... Going to Calcan, like we just mentioned. But, anyways, Javier Baez. Future Hall of Famer. Um, one of the best, if not the best, defenders in the game. Um, definitely a good... Good piece to have. I uh, I like Javier Baez on the cover of MLB The Show 2020. If any of you guys play MLB The Show 2020. But, um, yeah. The young son. Let's see what we got here. We have Andleton Simmons. I feel like he's having Hall of Fame career too. He's like... He is also one of the best defenders. If you just look up, you know... And Simmons defensive highlights, it's insane. Like, I don't understand. Him and David Fletcher on the Angels. The, that second baseman shortstop combo, that's uh, it's a really cool combo. It's really fun to see them um, just, just do impossible plays that you just don't even know how to use. Uh, Andrew Simmons has a cannon of an arm, but um, here's an Andrew Alberto. Um, we have Jay Bruce, Ender Ciarte, Yusei Kikuchi, who's kind of a bust. I don't know. I, I would say give him another year. If he hasn't really sold in and come from overseas, I feel like he was a bust. 29 years old. I don't know. Um, I remember there was a lot of hype when it came to Yusei Kikuchi. Um, that would be really cool for them <laughs> in the Mariners, but in the Mariners, he's pitching. Edwin Diaz, I don't even know. He fell off, dude. He fell off so bad. Dom Nunez, Hector Neris. He won the Mariano Rivera reliever 
the year award back in like 26, 17, 17. And it just totally fell off. Ended the year with like a 5.43 ERA for the Mets. It was pretty, pretty bad. Jake Maria's Nick, Nick Solak, Missing Tony Pham, um, Derek Dietrich, and Brennan McKay. I like Derek Dietrich. He's pretty cool. Only because just his, his home run. I feel like Derek Dietrich also is one of those sneaky talents because he hit 19 home runs um, last year with only 200 at bats. So if he had 400 at bats, he would hit like 40 home runs. I mean, I just think that's kind of weird. That would, like everybody is just ignoring that fact. I mean, sure, he doesn't have the greatest batting average, but he's still pretty cool. He's nice, Gary Sanchez. Our pools. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like he's just one of those sneaky talents that just came out. That whole Reds lineup is just kind of, it's getting more and more scary. Um, if you're just a fan of any team that isn't the Red, they're getting pretty, pretty scary. Due to the fact that, you know, they have so much talent on that team. They have Luis Castillo, who has, like, the craziest changeup I've ever seen in my life. You, know, you have Michael Lorenzen, who's, like, a two-way player. Um, this is a nice card, rookie um, stars. Jesus Lazardo, Seth Brown, and AJ Puck. That's a nice one. But you have just all these, this is amazing talent, which is absolutely insane. Um, all right, well, that's our first box. So the hits here were um, the Javier Baez, the A. Eugenio Suarez, and this Cattell Marte, numbered at 999. So, yeah. Congratulations to Arch for getting probably the best hit, future Hall of Famer relic. So here's our next box. Let me move these cards aside real quick so I can keep this organized. All this trash is piling up over here. I need like a little trash can when I do these. Okay, I can get this buyback card over here. All right. Um, put this aside over here. All right, so here we are, group B. Here's our buyback. Let's see what it is. That's a cool one. That's in really good condition, actually. All these years. It's cool. Um, that's cool. I wonder where all these people are now. I mean, we're on these cards back then. I wonder what they're doing now. I wonder if, you know, like, obviously, I'm talking about, like, the ones that just, like, didn't make it, really. Like, I mean, but also at the same time, you're like bragging rights for life. Like, yo, I was on the Montreal Expos in 1970. That's not even a team anymore, you know? And like, you can just pull up this card. So, uh, I just think that's pretty cool. And nice Will Smith, nice catch for the Dodgers. Um, we're still looking for an autograph. Um, we've gotten a relic so far, but we're looking for an autograph. And Group B, our Angels uh, sponsor is um, Giants fan 2010 BB. So I would be really excited to see a Mike Trout autograph or even a relic. Even a relic is really cool. It's a nice Gary Cole in his Yankees uniform. Um, but let's see. Um, I found Devers, Ryder Telez. We have Jose Altuve, Hanzo Robles, Trent Grisham, and Dylan Bundy. Let's see. Um, R242 has the Blue Jays, this one. He really wanted the Blue Jays. Um, so I'm glad he can get the Blue Jays for this one. Yeah, we have a lot of spots open now. Um, even after all the auctions ended, there were a lot of spots open, and Arch442 just came up and just, just bought all of them. So, that's a big thank you for Arch. Alright. Let's 
see, we have Freddy Galvis, we have Eric Hosmer, Austin Meadows, Gio Urshela, Anthony Rizzo, Mike Miner, and Nico Horner and Alberto Alze. I wonder what the future of the Cubs are going to be like, because Chris Bryant, he does not want to stay. Anthony Rizzo wants to stay, but Chris does not. Um, I don't even know what's going to happen with, with um, Javier Baez, but... I don't know. I feel like that team's gonna fall apart. I mean, it's, it, it would be really sad to see, but I feel like I just I just have that feeling that you know they're gonna lose everybody to free agency, and then they're not gonna have a good farm system, and they're just gonna go back to just not winning the World Series for like the next hundred years. I mean, I hope that's not the case, but yeah. And we've um, put Suki, one of the heroes from last year from the postseason, and. Um, and a big clutch in the World Series. I like the last World Series. The last World Series is actually pretty good. Um, nice underdog story. Um, we have a Ryan Zimmerman. Let's see. These inserts are pretty weird. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why they chose these inserts. They're, they're so weird, dude. Like, there's, it was Muhammad Ali. But... I don't know, these, these inserts are so weird. I'll show you next time there's, um, there's one. Um, we have Jose Barrios. Who is, um, pretty good pitcher. He has a pretty good changeup, too. Uh, I just think Luis Castillo has the, the best changeup. Max Muncy. Um, Wilson Gutreas, Dio Estrada. We have a Reggie Jackson insert card. That's cool. And Ian Kennedy, G-Man Choi, Sean Doolittle, Josh Hader. He also won the Mario Rivera Award last year, along with the gold of Chapman. Yeah, definitely a really, really good reliever. Um, we have Tyler Flowers, Edwin Diaz, Ronald Cunha Jr., that's a nice one. Playing Kershaw, Eloy Jimenez, wait, no, Eloy, Joe Jimenez, sorry, and Bo Bichette and Anthony Kane. That's always a nice one. I'm excited to see what Bo Bichette does as well. He had a really good season, um, you know. 2019, I kind of messed this up. I'm trying not to get these corners. Okay, there we go. I'm excited to see what Boba Shet does, though. Um, Jake Mirznik, Nick Solak, Giovanni Gallegos, Yadier Molina, Chris Taylor, Pedro Baez, and Ken Giles. Um, after this video, though, I will check for any short prints or any LPG backs. Um, They'll be in, in sleeves, but um, there's a nice Willie Mays insert. Lange Shields Jr. So if you're wondering why I'm not checking, I'm just gonna do it right after the video. Because um, I don't wanna just interrupt the video by just doing that. But yeah. All right, we have Matt Beattie. We have a relic coming up. Hopefully it's a, an autograph relic, but we'll keep that on the side right there. We have Ruiz. Jose Peraza, Marcus Simeon, Sam Conrad. All right, let's see if this is an autograph relic or some, some sort. And it's not. A Max Freed relic. Congratulations to our Braves owner. Um, let's see. Our Braves owner is Mach 1201. Not the hit we're looking for, but, you know, definitely um, a nice young pitcher. So... I mean, who knows, maybe we'll find a Boba Shed numbered. I mean, that would just also be really cool. But, let's see, we have Shane Green, Ben Woodruff, Michael Chavis, Mike Ford, Andrew Miller, Mr. Cantorini, Carlos Correa, and Vince Velasquez. We still have a lot of packs left, so... Looking for something else. Um, we have Trey Turner, one of the fastest guys in the game. Adam Heasley, Tom Lestella, Joe Panic, and Zach Greinke, insert card. Alright. Alright. Um, oh, look at this. You have a Nolan Arenado numbered card at 999. That's a cool one. He's definitely going to go in the Hall of Fame um, after his career is all said and done. 
definitely one of the best defenders and one of the best bats in the game. Um, he's kind of iffy about staying in Colorado, too. Um, I don't know. It's only because of the Rockies wanted to trade him, and he didn't like that because he wanted to stay in Colorado because he liked it. I, I don't know. But Chris Bryant's just mad at the Cubs because they had him in AAA for, like, an extra year just to save some money. But, um, Mark, Mark Forto got a variation, I believe. I don't know. I gotta check this after I'm done. Um, but, yeah. We haven't seen an auto out of two boxes. So, um, I'm, we still have one more box after this. Um, so hopefully we see something. That'd be a major long one. Um, I do have to take a moment to thank, you know, people that have bought into this, helped me do these. Um, you know, help my channel grow and just, you know, being a supporter. I appreciate it. Um, I want to do more, obviously, so, you know, tell me what you want to see. Like, um, because I might pick up some boxes this weekend, so, tell me what you guys would want to buy into, and I'll open it for you guys. Let's see, what's, like, new? I mean, besides Bowman, I can't do Bowman. It's just, it's so bad, people are just, you know, hogging it, and reselling it for, um, for way more expensive prices as a Danny Murphy variation. But I can't do Bowman, sorry guys. But just let me know. Oh, we're done. <laughs> sorry, I was just kind of on autopilot mode. Um, the best hits there were this Nolan Aaron Auto and this and the Relic um, of Max Free. But yeah, I put it in the pile, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah, I wish I could do Bowman. Bowman would be such a fun product to do. But I can't do that, so. It doesn't even have to be something from this year. We can do something from 2019, 2018, 2017. You know, as long as you guys are able to buy into it. You know. Oh, here's um, one of those greatest moment things. Let's go back to our thing, okay. Let's see. It's a Jordan Alvarez. That's a nice one. It's a rookie. I have no idea how I'm gonna. I have no idea how I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleeve this. Okay. Um. <laughs> that's a that's a nice one. Though. I like that. Those are pretty cool. All right. Let's go through here. See what we got. You have a uh, Lopez, Patrick Sandoval, upside down, Chance Cisco, um, Michael Franco, New Beach Performance, Catal Marte, Suzuki, Logan Webb, and Mark Malone. I never knew how to pronounce this last name. Never. Let's see. Looks like we have something in here. Put this on the end. Um, let's see, we have a Marcus Stroman, Cam Gallagher, Archie Bradley, Chase Anderson, Ryan Zimmerman, Trevor Story. We have a Mitch Haniger, Yon Mancata, and we have a Jordan Alvarez, Eric Aquino, 2020 rookie stars out of 571. Wow. That's a good one. That's, wow. I don't know how I'm gonna, well, who has, okay, let me see. Astros has, okay. AM, wait, HMB PhD 123 has the Astros. However, Arch442 has the Reds. 
how am I gonna divide this? Uh, this, is, this is gonna be a tough one. I didn't even think about that. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I, 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 I don't know. Hmm. I really don't know. I gotta figure that out. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna message both of you guys though. That's a crazy hit. I wonder how much that's worth though. I'm gonna look that up after this. You guys got, you, one of you, whoever's gonna get that, you guys got a good hit. That's crazy. Um, beautiful card though. I, I'm really trying to figure out what am I gonna do? I mean, I should just, I don't know. Maybe I should do like, maybe, okay, maybe I should do whoever, the next Astro card, whatever number it is, um, we record that, right? And then the reds, the next reds card, if it's a lower number, and I'm talking about like the numbers like um, right here, like, well, this is a bad example, but um, just the set number. So say that um, HMV PH um, gets 215 and um, R442 gets 250, then, um, H, H M P H D one two three gets it. I don't know. We'll do that for this one. I'll contact you guys and see if you guys would like to do that that way and or would not like to do that that way. I don't know. Maybe you guys would like to bid for it. I I, I don't know what to do. Maybe you guys want would like to let the other one have it. Um, this is a really good hit out of five seventy one. Two major rookie stars, if not the best rookies out of this. Um. Okay, so we're gonna do that now. Um, if you guys, I'm going to message you guys after this. If you guys agree with that, then we're going to keep that in effect. Like, we'll, we'll follow what we did in the video. But if you guys don't want to, we'll do whatever you guys want to. So, we're looking for an Astros card or a Red card. That's crazy. Okay, um, we have Ozzy Albies, Eric Th uh, Thames, Tommy, I, I don't know. Joe Jimenez, I have to be really careful. I can't just go through these. Yadier Melina, we have Caleb Smith. Uh, I don't think this counts because it's like a subset. So, oh wait, no, it's an actual part of the checklist. All right, well, one ninety eight. That's a uh, that's a tough number to beat. We put a red card now. All right. John Means, we have uh, Dylan Seas and Zach Collins, rookie stars. Um, Phobos Shet, who has uh, Arch442, he has the Blue Jays again. And that's good. Okay, um, let me go through, make sure I didn't skip over any reds. I want to be precise as possible with this one. Deciding factor on who's going to get this beautiful Doran Alvarez and Ursus Aquino card. Let's see. Jeremy Reyes, Chris Bassett, Dave Bodie, Kenta Maeda, Ken Giles, it's Phillies and Dodgers. Okay. This is definitely a tricky one. So we have a J. Happ, um, don't even know how to pronounce that, Starling Marte, Clarence Lynn, Ranger Suarez, Luis Suarez, Sinsu Chu, and Jorge Polanco. And now I'm just thinking like the, the worst things that can happen. Like, what if we don't find a red card for the remainder? You know, like, <laughs> um, nice freaky stars right there. Josh James, Max Fried, Mike Talkman, Fern Hicks, Cesar Hernandez, Aaron Plinko, whatever. I don't, I don't even know Plinko, whatever. But I'm just kind of stressed out. So it's like, that's a really good hit. I, I, I wouldn't want to be the guy on the short end of the stick here. Nick Marquez, Andrew Kashner, Miguel Cabrera, okay. Victor Reyes. Um, why? I don't. What are these inserts? It's just 
saying that Starbucks is born. Okay, during Loop Loud, Carlos Santana. Okay. One ninety eight is the number to beat, Arch. One ninety eight. Hard number to beat. We have McCanny, Matt Carpenter. We're getting all the other teams that are affiliated with red, but we're not getting the Reds. Brian Reynolds. Alright, here it is. Home of Truth. 105. Wow. Arch gets that. Unless you guys want to do it, sell this a different way, I'll message you guys after this. Um, or if you guys just wanted to stick to the rules that I did with this video. Um, then we'll do that. It's up to you guys, though. So... Arch442 gets this, unless you guys want to do something else about it. I'm sure Arch doesn't, but <laughs> I don't know about HMB, PhD, 123. So, yeah, it's a very good hit. We still haven't even found like an auto <laughs> or relic yet. We're just like too concerned about that right now. At least I am. I don't know. If you're like, if, if you're not me, Arch442 or HMB, PhD, 123, you probably really don't care about this. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, Ari Kendrick, insane, I remember that. Hey, here's a nice story on Alvarez. Oh, crap, okay, here we are again. Oh my gosh, okay, we're gonna do the same thing again. But this one, I feel like this one's fair, but that one, since it's such a big hit, I feel like I need to discuss that with you guys. But, um, I think it's fair, though. And I'm putting all these cards that how they were in order. So if there's any other ones like this, um, when it comes to like, I think it's a trench Grisham. I think I don't know. There's oh, no, no, no. That one's their their own team. Okay. I don't know if if there is another one of like these cards when it's the American League and National League. Um, I'll just go back and then um, basically do this again because all these cards I'm putting them in order of how I open them. So. Um, Chuck of Barnhart. Here is a 107. So 107 is number to beat for HMPHD. Um, yeah, I can't miss the Astros. All right, Jeff Schmeiser. Here is. I don't know where our auto or relic is. All right, here it is. Um, 201. Um, Arch442 gets this one too. Alright. It's subtle. Put this with Arch's thing. Um, Aaron Frazier, Jason Kipnis, Buster Posey, Yuli Gurriel, Sean Murphy, and Tyler Naquin. Uh, okay. We're almost done. We were approaching the 30 minute, 33 minute mark. That's crazy. Um, if you've been watching for this long, thank you. Um, I really appreciate it. It really helps me out, you know. Um, I like to meet other people that are into this hobby also. Um, it's nice to know I'm not the only one. I might, I might be the youngest one, don't get me wrong, but, um, I don't know. It's still a nice hobby, you know, like. But also, don't forget to tell me in the comments, like, what do you want me to open? Um, because these are really fun. We have a Brandon Workman, uh, Anthony, Anthony K, rookie auto. Wow, Arch442, you lucked out with this one. I know you really wanted those Blue Jays, and you bought the Blue Jays and you got a good hit. Anthony K, is it numbered? No, not numbered. He's gonna be a good one though, definitely. Um, part of the Marcus Stroman trade with the Mets. Anthony K, one of the pitching, starting pitching that the Blue Jays need, um, then they'll become pretty scary. Offensively, they're, they're, they're kind of scary, but yeah, that's crazy. Okay, congratulations to Arch442. Um, getting all these good hits. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Arch442 has really gotten all this, I don't know. That's crazy. Um, here we have Austin Romine, Mike Clevenger, Adam Eaton, um, Phil Nevern. Um, let's see what we got here. 
I was just looking for basically just like things like the Aquino. Those are two. All right. Uh, Carson Kelly, Clint Frazier. That's a nice one. It's a nice answer. Boba Shad. I'll put this with Arch for cheese pile. But, um, yeah. How come this one was like a bunch more than the. Oh, because I put. Oh, okay, okay. I stacked them on each other. Um, I just have to go through the. Uh, the video and see when I stop, what was the last card, then I'm good. Um, yeah, this is my first time doing more than one break though, so you guys gotta just bear with me. Um, I'll definitely make sure though, you guys are getting the cards you paid for. Um, but, yeah. If you just look over here, there's just a big pile of trash. Um, I'm opening these cards upside down. Uh, there's a nice Cody Bellinger. Um, Andres Munoz, Michael Bias. Three packs left. We have a. This is the, is this the first one we've seen? Wow. All right. That's the main Gavin Lux. That's a good one. Um, John Gray. We have Danny Jansen. Um, Bruce Star Granarol. He's from Dodgers now. Um, part of that Kenta Maeda trade. So. Hmm, um, pretty weird. They didn't, um, they didn't do that. They didn't update that. It's kind of weird. Let's see. Um, we have Zach Greinke. We have J.P. Crawford. We have Miguel Rojas, Anibal Sanchez, Jose Ramirez, uh, Joey Lucici. Um, and we have Zach Plezak. Let's see. Last pack. Let's see if we can get something good. Last pack. R242 definitely has had the best luck out of everything here. Um, we have an Aaron Nola. We have Brad Peacock. Willie Adames. Amir Garrett. Adam Engel. Starling Castro. Luis Gurriel. Johnny Cueto. And Scott Oberg. And that with that, that concludes our break. Um, here's some of the best hits. Uh, with, the, with group break um, C, we have... A Boba Shett, Anthony K, Jordan Alvarez, and this beauty right here. And um, this one is going to HM PhDs. This is a nice one, though. But yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to send that to you. I'll, I'll figure it out, though. But wow, that was a really good um, box right there. Um, well, thank you, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. Big thanks to Archbishop 42 for buying most of the spots here and a bunch of the other people. But um, yeah, thank you for so, so much. Um, please subscribe, it would help me a lot. And comment down just what would you like to see uh, with the next breaks, or what kind of boxes, anything. Um, of course, I will have my eBay and Twitter in the description. I also have a Patreon now in case you want to support me on Patreon. Um, help me do just more like individual breaks like just for me you know um just just content basically just more things like it would help me provide more content um and every now and then it will help me um fund a group break because um it's kind of a gamble right now because since i'm, I'm only 17 um i don't really have a job and don't get me wrong i would love a job if you're if you work at a state of brothers or something in california please hire me but um this whole coronavirus thing is not allowing me to get a job. But, so it's kind of a gamble with me. Just basically just hoping you guys buy in. Um, I'd be kind of leaning on Arch442, so. Um, I don't know what I'll do without him so far with this channel. But, yeah. Thank you guys a lot. Um, everything will be in the description below. And, um, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. And these packages will be sent out to you guys. Thank you. See ya.